Before watch our video take a moment for subscribe our channel by click on subscribe button, and click on bell icon, then you will be first to know when we post new video. China once dominated the Bitcoin markets, accounting for over 90% of global trading. But in September, its central bank banned initial coin offerings, ECOs, and stopped cryptocurrency exchanges from serving local customers. Looking back at the crackdowns, Pan Gongsheng, a deputy governor of the People's Bank of China, believes Beijing made the right decisions. Speaking at a financial forum in Shanghai over the weekend, Pan was asked to comment on Bitcoin's historical bull run, which saw the cryptocurrency's value surpass $11,500, jumping more than tenfold so far this year. Chinese media quoted him as saying, link in Chinese. If we had not shut down Bitcoin exchanges and cracked down on ECOs several months ago, if China still accounted for more than 80% of the world's Bitcoin trading and ECO fundraising, everyone, what would happen today? Thinking of this question makes me scared. Pan went on to share a recent column by economist Eric Pichet in the French newspaper La Tribune, link in French. In it, Pichet, a professor at the Kedge Business School in France, makes a familiar argument that Bitcoin is a bubble waiting to burst, just like the tulip mania in the 1600s and the internet bubble of 2000. He predicts that Bitcoin will die of a grand theft a hack into the blockchain technology behind the cryptocurrency, which actually is unlikely, or a collective ban by global governments. Pan cited lines from Piché to wrap up his talk. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our video then just click on thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe our channel by click on subscribe button.